Creatine is popular among athletes who compete in sports that need brief bursts of high-intensity strength. But what happens when you take creatine every day for 30 days? What does it do to your body? How long does it take to work? And what are some of its potential side effects? We are going to answer all those questions to give you a good idea of what you can expect from taking creatine before and after the first 30 days. So stick with the video till the end to find it out. Let's first talk about what creatine is, and then we will talk about some of its benefits. Creatine is naturally produced in your body and used as a direct energy source. It provides energy to your body during those high-intensity workouts like sprints and bench presses. Taking creatine supplements will increase the creatine levels in your body by about 30%, but this could vary from person to person depending upon the amount of creatine stored in your body. Due to higher creatine levels in our body, we have more energy to power our muscles, which means more strength in muscles over time. It is also important to note that some people may not experience these high peaks in energy levels after taking creatine as other people do because a small percentage of people already walk around with fully saturated creatine levels. So, those people experience little to no benefits from taking creatine supplementation. Now, let's talk about what you can experience during the saturation phase. So, when we first start taking creatine, it takes time for our muscles to get fully saturated with the additional creatine and you will not see any benefits during that phase because your muscles are not saturated that being said. You might experience some of the side effects during this phase, which we will get back to later. So there are two main ways through which you can start taking creatine. First is called the loading phase. In this method, you take about 20 grams of creatine per day and it takes about one week to fully saturate your muscles and that is when you start experiencing some of its benefits. The second method is called the non-loading phase. In this method, you take baseline levels of creatine per day and you slowly increase your creatine levels over time. This method usually takes about two to three weeks to fully saturate your muscles and for you to start experiencing the benefits of taking creatine. Both of the methods will saturate your muscles eventually, but the time and side effects of each matter may vary. Speaking of that, Let's look at some of the side effects that you may experience during this saturation phase. The first is the initial weight gain. When you start taking creatine, you might see a small spike in your body weight. This is because when creatine enters the muscle cell, it also draws some water to the cell, which can make your muscles look and feel a lot fuller. So, how much weight gain can you expect from taking creatine during this phase? Well, this research suggests that people who take creatine can expect an increase of anywhere from 2-4 pounds. The research also concludes that the gain in body mass is not due to water retention but due to the increase in dry matter. If you are using the loading method, then you will see a spike in weight during the first 7 days, but if you are following the non-loading method then your weight will gradually increase over a period of 2-3 weeks until your muscles are fully saturated. Another often reported side effect of creatine throughout the saturation phase is stomach discomfort. This happens when people take a heavy dose at once, so try splitting your intake into smaller doses like 5 grams 4 times per day if you are following the loading method. Also, avoid taking creatine on an empty stomach because creatine doesn't get dissolved very well on an empty stomach. Also let us know in the comments section if you are experiencing these issues and if these tips help you out. All right. So now, let's look at what you can expect after the saturation phase is over and your muscles are fully saturated with the creatine. First of all, you should start to feel an increase in the overall strength of your body. This meta-analysis reviewed 22 different studies done on creatine and found that an average trained lifter can expect an 8% boost in strength and a 14% boost in the number of reps performed. The study also indicates that the less experienced you are, the larger the benefit you are likely to take as the study shows an average increase of 30% in untrained individuals. This means going from benching 100 pounds to 130 pounds, which is a very solid return as far as the supplements go. Another amazing benefit you will experience after the saturation phase is faster recovery. This study surveyed 52 NCAA athletes and found that 81% of them reported faster recovery from the training by taking creatine after the saturated phase. One other benefit of taking creatine supplements has to do with its effects on brain function. Creatine supplements have been shown to improve cognitive functions. Research shows that our brain is in constant need of energy and most of the energy comes from creatine. 
This recent systematic review found that creatine supplementations consistently improve performance on short-term memory and tests of intelligence. In fact, when children are born with creatine deficiency in the brain, severe effects on cognitive function and development are often observed. Whereas in healthy children, creatine supplements can further increase brain creatine levels by up to 10%, which has a positive effect on how well our brain functions. With all that being said guys, creatine or any other supplements are just a small part of the game. In order to truly transform your body and see the results that you want you to need to prioritize your training and nutrition. Alright, guys if you enjoyed today's video, then go ahead and click on the link and watch our last video about the best way to take creatine for muscle growth. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Peace.